Good morning. I have decided that I am going to donate my hair. So we should probably head off and post it. I'm torn on the hair still. It's really long. <coughs> Wait till Alex stops coughing. On one hand, I'm like, it's really long. I should keep it. And then on the other hand, I'm like, it's way too long. It's gonna end up being like here, which is a very significant chop. Then I kind of think the fact that I don't want to cut it really short is more of a reason to do it. That's the whole point. You're donating hair because somebody else has lost theirs. I'm messaging, oh, I must message them back actually. I'm messaging the Rapunzel Foundation, which is an Irish charity that takes ponytail donations. They said it needs to be 14 inches and like for me to give 14 inches, I'd have to go so short. Oh wow, thank you so much. Oh my God, shout out Peter Mark. I didn't ask for it for free. I asked, could it be for a regular price of a wash cut and blow dry? Because the way it has to work is it has to be washed, then dried, then chopped off the ponytail. Then like you'd have to fix what's left. I can't believe they're doing it for free. That's very exciting. Now I have to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting nervous now. Why? Because I'm about to cut all my hair off. Why are you cutting all your hair off? Don't to do donate that. it. Princess. Maybe one inch. One inch. Good. Yeah, one inch. Plus 13. Mm. Did you say plus 13? That's yeah, 14 inches. So she'll be bald. I won't be bald. I'll be pretty short. I have short. no idea how 14 inches. <laughs> Can you show me how long 14 inches is? I think it's like up to there. Well, I would say it's the way up to here. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, it's the length of a ruler. Plus two inches. So that's about there. I have plus two inches. Because it's 14 inches you claim. <laughs> that's above your ear. You're going to have a step. <laughs> It'll grow back. It'll be fine. Okay, enjoy it. Don't cry about having a step. I'm nervous. I don't know how short it's going to be afterwards, but it grows back, it grows back, it's fine, it'll grow back. And before you ask, yes, I did wash my hair before going to the hairdressers. They're probably going to have to wash it again, but I didn't want to go in with greasy hair. Do you know? Ugh. I got a quick coffee to settle the nerves. Because I thought, do you know what I need? <laughs> Is the urge to shit myself out. <laughs> and what will you go for afterwards? I guess I'll figure out when I see how short it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, you probably have, yeah. Of course it would look the nicest it's ever looked. Right before I cut it off. So, now it has to be 14 inches cut above band, measure before plat, plat then cut above band. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Eek, go for it. No turning back now. <laughs> Jesus, I feel about 10 stone lighter. <laughs> it actually doesn't look that bad straight off the bat. Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't know we're going to tape it all and then just graduate it. Yeah, fix it up a bit. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, you guys, thank you. Uh, I wouldn't say, no, I wouldn't say huge now, personally. There's a lot of good people out there, isn't there, on social media. And yeah. I think sometimes it gets the same people that get overloaded. With Definitely. And sure, everyone has the... The capacity to be a bit of a dose as well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's mad because my hair looks pure thick now. <laughs> Doesn't it? Thank you very much. Yeah. So I've got my bag of hair. So here's the hair. Look at that. Jesus. That was a lot of hair, wasn't it? Fucking hell. I'm going to wrap it back up in tissue. In the bag. 
into the envelopes I just bought and make sure to post it off. You know that I'm normally terrible posting stuff off, but I'm not gonna have a plat just hanging around my house. So I am gonna post it off. What do you think? <laughs> Here, look, I'm looking at the light. What do you think? It's all right. Does it ever really feel? No, I would have thought it was gonna look a lot worse. You don't have any more stronger feelings on it? No. I thought you were gonna hate it. End of reaction. Is that it? That's it. In the spirit of being honest, I was up late last night, mourning the loss of my hair. It's really short. Put up a reel on Tuesday, sort of spoiler alerting the fact that I cut my hair off. A video went up on the Try channel of me taste testing alcoholic versus non-alcoholic beers on the same day that I put up the reel where I showed myself with the hair cut off. And all the comments were like, your hair looks so good, don't ever change your hair, keep your hair like that. It was a really bad time for that. <laughs> but it's fine, I have only cried a couple of times <laughs> since I cut it off. Alex and I are going to a wedding, so before I go, I just wanted to show you my hair and what I've done with it. Cause I'm getting used to it and I quite like what I've done with it here. Uh, so I'm wearing a rose dress from my Thriftify video on Instagram um, and roses to match in the hair. And I've curled the hair and I'm very happy with it. Alex sorry said he doesn't like it, but I like it. And last but not least this morning, I posted the ponytail. So the whole reason I wanted to make this video was to tell you how you could also do this. If you're in Ireland, the Rapunzel Foundation are going through a transitionary period at the minute, so their website's actually not working, but their address is on their Facebook page. I confirmed with the founder they are accepting donations. Just make sure you follow the instructions on how to cut and how to send the hair. Now, they're in this video, but for clarity, I've written them out in the description box below and I've also linked to a blog post where I go through the steps on how to cut, how to package, how to send. There are a number of charities that you could donate your hair to depending on how long it is. So the Rapunzel Foundation is the Irish charity that I went with. They require 14 inches. They use the hair to make a freedom piece, they call it, for alopecia patients. The Little Princess Trust is in the UK. They require 12 inches or more and they use the hair to create wigs for cancer patients. There are obviously more charities than this. I know of one base in Europe that takes seven inches or more. I'll put the link down below to that charity as well. At the end of the day, for any of these charities, you're just cutting off your hair and posting it. So you can go with any charity that you want. Look, I was gonna cut my hair anyway. Maybe not this short, but I was gonna cut my hair. And because it was so long, I thought, why not cut it off, donate it, it will grow back. It'll be fine. It did take me the guts of a week to adjust to it. It took me about a week to figure out how to style my hair and to feel like my hair and I were friends again. But I kind of like that I got that insight into what it feels like to go through such a big change. And I did it by choice. And I hope that the hair that I donated as part of doing this voluntarily will help someone who's had to go through this involuntarily. This is actually not the first time that I've done mad shit to my hair for charity. A couple of years ago, I dyed it all purple. <laughs> oh, and I should add actually that I have been growing out the dye out of my hair since 2018. My hair was totally virgin hair because Rapunzel Foundation doesn't take dyed hair. So the purple was long gone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Sounds on.